What's up guys, welcome back to this FIFA 16 manager career mode and we're still with Liverpool and I honestly think I'm going to be starting with Liverpool, trying to, to, to make them, I guess, in the top half of the table and then if we do get a managerial offer, managerial, that was a terrible freaking pronunciation, a managerial offer from some other club, we're probably going to take it. Right now if I go to browse jobs, there's currently no managerial job openings available. I tried Atletico, I tried um, some teams in France, I think it was Stade René, that would have been cool, uh, some young players, but we uh, it said our managerial credentials weren't up to par or something like that, but we're here in the second season with Liverpool, and I do want to start with Liverpool and then see what could happen down the line. So if we go to my shortlist, we have two players, Loris Kairis and Joel Matip, who I really want to sign because they actually did sign in real life, and I'm really hoping to making them my first two signings with Liverpool. Uh, Kairis, a very good goalkeeper, and Matip, a very good center back. So I've scouted them, and we'll see what their ratings are going to be and their, their price. Right now, we do have some emails. Domestic Cup objective would be to reach the semifinals in the FA Cup season's budget. 57.5 million pounds and 275,000 on wages. My league objective would be to qualify for the Champions Cup. And this was last season and important transfer market information. Just saying that the transfer market is now open. And right now, if I go to sell players, there's going to be a lot of players on the transfer list and on the, and on the loan list. We got Fulton Jones, V. Guru, Jose Enrique, Ings, Ward, Smith, Bogdan, and Skirtle on the transfer list. And then for loan, we have all these players. Ojo, Rossiteer, Stewart, Canos, Kent, Teixeira, Wisdom, Yezil, and Williams. So uh, a lot of players are going to be going out and two players are going to be coming in. But I'm hoping to sign a few more players than just two. So for right now, my trainings are going to be Gomez on one on two defending, Flanagan on one on two defending, Ibe on Beecherman and Chance Creation, and Ilori on one on two defending. If they do change, I'm going to let you know, but... Up until they grow, I'm not going to show you the training. So, Gomez gets a C, Flanagan an F, Ibe a B and a C, and Ilori a B. Preseason tournament invite, and we do have 57 million to spend. But just to get some extra prize money, I'm going to accept this. And we're going to be playing in the European International Cup. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the results, doesn't really matter about the teams. All that really matters is that we do get some extra prize money for advancing into, I guess, the knockout stages and the semifinals, you know, you know, all that stuff. And uh, we're taking part in the Champions League. Oh my goodness, I thought we were taking part in the Europa League. No, we're taking part in the Champions League, boys. This just added a whole new meaning to this series. Yes, we're in the Champions League, so I'm going to stay here at Liverpool up until I get a good offer, and then I'll make my decision. But we're in the Champions League, and they want us to reach the finals. That is incredible. So we're in the Champions League. Yes, thank you very much. And the European International Cup. I didn't think we were in the Champions League. I thought we were in Europa. But we're in Champions League. And we're going to be playing. We're, we're going to have to wait to see the groups. But we are in Champions League. I didn't know we were going to be in it. So we've got a transfer offer from Leicester City for Jose Enrique. And I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. 1.3 million pounds. Like I said, I don't really care about these preseason tournament games. So I am going to be calendar simulating all of them. We're coming up against Hoffenheim, Firmino's former club, and we pick up a 2-1 loss. Hopefully there's no injuries, that's not what I would want. Uh, Jose Enrique disappointed not to start. We have a transfer offer, one for Benteke, and one for Mamadou Sako. I'm going to reject the offer for Mamadou Sako, and I don't know about Benteke. 17.5 million from Stoke City. If they give me 20... No, that's way too much. If they give me 20 million for Benteke, I'm going to accept this offer because we do have... Uh, Origi, we have Sturridge, and we have Mario Balotelli who came back from Milan, and I'm going to look to use Balotelli this season. Either Balotelli or Benteke, one of them has to go, but if Benteke goes, I'm going to be using Balotelli. Jose Enrique has been sold to Leicester City for 1.3 million pounds. The board has allocated us 1.1 million, and we do have two transfer offers. One for Daniel Sturridge from Swansea City, 26 million pounds, which I am going to go ahead and reject, and Lucas Leiva. 7.5 million from Sante Tien. I'm just going to bump it up to 10.5 million. If they give me 10.5 million, I'm going to let Lucas Leva go. Three transfer offers, a loan offer from QPR for Jordan Rossetier. I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. I don't I didn't really use him. I didn't use him at all. Milan want Mamadou Sako. They're looking for a defender. I'm going to go ahead and reject this offer. And we have another transfer offer for Christian Benteke 
from Everton. If they give me 24.5 million, they can take Benteke. He's a good player, but uh, I don't really know. I'd, I'd, I could let him go for 24.5 million. Stoke City have said that they have decided to match the offer of 20 million for Christian Benteke. And we have another transfer offer for Daniel Sturridge from Dortmund. I'm going to go and reject all offers and disallow future offers for Sturridge. Second match coming up against Bilbao in the European International Cup. Calendar simulating this match and we draw 2-2. Doesn't look likely that we are going to go ahead into the semi-finals. And Santentien are only going to pay 8.5 million for Leva. I want 9.5 million for Leva. Everton have said that they have reviewed our asking price of 24.5 million pounds and have decided to match it. So Benteke is either going to Everton or Stoke City. We have a transfer offer for Christian Benteke once again from Monaco. And we could squeeze out a lot of money from Monaco. I'm going to ask for 27 0.5 million pounds from Monaco. Final game coming up in the group stages. And if we do not pick up a victory, we're not going to go into it. And you saw that we probably didn't. We drew 1-1 to Porto and we're out. But we do get some extra prize money. And it says that we have sold a player. It's probably Christian Benteke. We have received 1.4 million pounds for our success in the European International Cup. And Benteke has been sold to Stoke City for 20 million. And the board has allocated us 17 million pounds for our current transfer budget. Now we have a transfer offer for Lloyd Jones, who I'm never gonna use. 170,000 pounds from Crew Alexandra. I'm going ahead and accepting this offer. So Saint Etienne have reviewed the 9.5 million pound asking price for Leva and they have decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. Lloyd Jones has been sold to Crew Alexandra for 170,000 pounds and the board has allocated us 140,000 pounds for our current transfer budget. So two growths in the training. Gomez has gone up to a 70 rated and Ibe has gone up to a 74 rated left winger. Another transfer offer. This time it's for Andre Wisdom. And it's from Preston, a one-year loan. I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. So the transfer talks have been broken down between AS Saint-Etienne and Lucas Leva. He doesn't want to relocate. I guess he's pledging his loyalty here at Liverpool. So maybe we we're going to keep him. And we do have a transfer offer for Mario Balotelli. One from Crystal Palace and one from Eintracht Frankfurt. And we did sell Benteke. So I'm going to go ahead and reject this offer. I have a special place in my heart for Balotelli. I don't know why. I always think... He's going to return to form and just be the player we all thought he would be. So that's why I'm keeping him. I'm sorry if that upsets you, but I really want to keep Balotelli. We have final scouting reports on Kaidas and Matip. So we're going to go ahead and make some offers right now for Kaidas and Matip. This is one of the big stars at the club. So he's worth 12 million. And usually what I like to do is just offer 3 million extra and they usually accept it. So I'm offering 15 million for Lotus Kaidas. And uh, Karies, Karie, uh, somebody has to tell me how to say him. I say Karies because that's how it sounds to me. But I think it's Karies. And now we're going to make an offer for Joel Matip. He's worth uh, 12.5 million. And like I said, what I like to do is offer 3 million extra. So I'm offering 15.5 million pounds for Joel Matip. Two transfer offers. One for Firmino, which I am going to go ahead and reject. 25.5 million from Sunderland. We got uh, two transfer... No, we have a another transfer offer for Adam Bogdan which I have put on the transfer list. Uh, 1.6 million from West Ham, and I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. And another transfer offer for Firmino, which I am going to go ahead and reject. So Mines and Schalke have both rejected the offers. They want 19.5 million for Karius, so I'm going to go ahead and offer 18 million for him. And I don't really know what they want for Joel Matip. They want 24 million for him. That is absolutely absurd. 18.5 million is what I'm putting on Joel Matip. Another transfer offer, it's for Joe Gomez from Barcelona. And I'm going to go ahead and reject this offer because I do want to keep him. He looks like a very good backup left back. Player sold, Adam Bogdan has gone to West Ham for 1.6 million and the board has allocated us 1.4 million for our current transfer budget. Another transfer offer, this time it's for Felipe Coutinho, 41.5 million from Wolfsburg. I'm going ahead and rejecting this offer. I do not want to sell Coutinho. I want to keep him for as long as possible. So Schalke say that they really want 24 million for Matip. I'm going to go ahead and offer 21.5 million for him. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous how much they want for him. And I think 21.5 million, they're going to go ahead and accept that offer. And Mines have accepted the transfer offer for Loris Karius. Uh, I'm going to offer him 100k per week because that's exactly what he wants. 
for four years and a crucial first team player. Got a transfer offer for Kevin Stewart, a central defensive midfielder, 22 years of age, two year loan from Colchester. I'm accepting this offer. Very good news. One of the realistic signings, one of the real life signings have has accepted his contract. 100k per week for four years. Lotus Karius is going to be our goalkeeper for this season. And as you can see right there, Schalke have accepted the 21.5 million pound offer for Joel Matip. Now I need to negotiate a contract. He wants 90k per week. That's exactly what I'm going to give him for three years and a crucial first team player. Transfer offer for Divock Origi from FC Clone. I am going to go ahead and reject this offer. Like I said, I want to keep him because he's going to be my starting right winger. And Lotus Karius has come into the team and we're putting Mignolet on the bench because he, he's, he, he's going to be a decent backup keeper. And this is how my team shapes up right now. I do need to sell a few more players. And uh, this is basically what my team is going to look like for this season. Community Shield time against Arsenal. Now, this is basically like a preseason game between... I'm not really sure who. You guys really need to let me know. And we're playing against Arsenal. So let's jump into this match and try to pick up like a preseason victory. And just, you know, start up the season on the right foot. And then we do start the actual season in a few days. We do have uh, Champions Cup games against BSC Young Boys. I think this is qualification into the Champions League. So let's jump into this match against Arsenal and try to pick up a victory. Starting 11, Karius, Klein, Skirtle, Sacco, Moreno, Milner, Chan, Firmino, Origi, Sturridge, and Felipe Coutinho. We're here at Wembley Stadium. And like I said, this game doesn't really matter. If I don't pick up a victory, I won't like rage and freaking break my TV. But like... Playing against Arsenal, and they're a fairly good side. I think it's between the winners of the FA Cup and the winners of the BPL. I think it was Arsenal who won the BPL. So let's jump into this match. Consolo on the ball. Going to send it up to Chamberlain, and that's a nice challenge from Moreno. Moreno, yes, nice steal into the middle to Danny Sturridge. Danny Sturridge, can he get a good touch? Try to break around. He still has it. Let's give this to Origi. Origi, first time shot. And that one's into the back of the net. Origi... Honestly, he's. I think every single goal he scored is like cross post. Sturridge doing well to hold up the ball. Almost getting taken out by Marquisio, but Divac Origi just slots it home. Honestly, that's one of the hardest shots to save as a keeper when you shoot cross goal. We're up 1 0 here in the 26th minute up against Arsenal. It's the end of the first half, 1 0. Arsenal got, just got one shot off target. I think it was from Marquisio. Uh, Divac Origi scored. Let's jump into the second half, try and put in another goal. Walk out of here as champions. No, that's a nice ball into the middle. Great save, Karius. Great save by Karius, but I think that one... No, it wasn't judged offside. Very nice save. They brought on Danny Welbeck. They've got a corner. Whipping this one in. That one is out to Sanchez. The shot, and I think that took a deflection. That one's into the back of the net. Theo Walcott scores. It's 1-1. Doesn't really matter. Community Shield, like I said, doesn't really matter. Walcott celebrating... In front of the camera as if it freaking matters. And I just want to see if that did take a deflection because it looked like it did. I think that might have hit off a Nathaniel Klein. I'm not really sure. Let me check this replay. This shows absolutely nothing. I think it took a deflection. It's 1-1 here at Wembley. And I think this game is going into extra time. Yes, it's actually going into extra time. I, I really don't want it to go into extra time. But we're going into extra time. Oh, okay. It goes straight into penalties. I really didn't know that. We have Balotelli, Milner, Sturridge, Firmino. Let's do this. I didn't know that it goes straight into penalties. Here's Balotelli. He rarely, rarely misses penalties. And that one's into the back of the net. Mario Balotelli. Here is Santi Casola. And I think he might be going left. So that's exactly where I'm going to dive. Puts a lot of power. He's going straight down the middle. No chance for Karius to save it. Let's go Milner. Right above Czech's head. Right above Czech's head. And yes, that one's into the back of the net. Check. No opportunity for him to save that. Here's Alexis Sanchez. And he's right-footed, so I think he's going to go right. And that one's left. No save. Here's Daniel Sturridge. Nobody has saved the ball yet. Sturridge, I'm going right. Sturridge, I'm going right. No chance for Petr Cech. Dove the opposite way. Here's Aaron Ramsey. Let's try to psych him out a bit. Let's try to psych him out a bit. I think he's staying down the middle. I think he's... Oh, he hits the post, but that one goes in. I thought it was going to hit the post and go out. Here's Firmino. I think I'm going to miss this one. I think I... No. I actually scored that one. <laughs> I hit it way too in the yellow. Here is Theo Walcott. He's going left. He's going left. That ricochets off the bar. Dove the right way. 
And if we score this one, we're the Community Shield winners. Here's Henderson. Let's go left, Henderson. Henderson, Henderson. That one's into the back of the net. And we're the champions of the Community Shield. Nothing worth celebrating. It's just a little bit of preseason glory. And we walk out of here as victors. They, uh, they scored a really dumb goal. Hit off a Klein. But we walk out of here with a 2-1 victory after penalties. Now Flanagan has increased to a 76 rated right back. And what I'm going to do right now before the episode actually does end is I'm going to browse some jobs. Maybe, no, there's currently no managerial job openings available. And I might have thought that maybe I could have started a new career mode. But I, I think you guys are fed up of me starting new career modes. So I'm just going to play with Liverpool because we are in Champions League. And I think that's going to excite some of you guys. Let's actually see the teams that came up from the championship. We got Derby County. We got Middlesbrough. And we got Sheffield Wednesday. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode... Uh, actually, what I think I'm going to do is before that, see if Matip uh, accepts his contract. He doesn't. He declines it. Got a transfer offer from Fiorentina for Mamadou Sacco. Going to reject this offer. And he has declined this contract. So we're going to put in one final offer. I offered him 90k. So I'm going to offer him 110k for three years and a crucial first team player. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hope you guys still enjoyed that I'm playing with Liverpool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel! But I already am subscribed. Oh. So subscribe to my second channel. And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! But I can. Yes, you can! Oh, okay. Do it!